This one's gonna be for WeChat users. This time we're gonna install this thing called uh, We Git. It's basically kind of like app Git uh, install something. Uh, but we're not installing packages, we're installing scripts only, right? So go to their site here called wechat.org slash scripts. Uh, I'll also post it in the description also. Anyways, search for this thing called, what is that, we get, right? It should be down here, right here. And uh, this is a Python script. So I click on it. And right here in the side here, it have a download button. We're not going to download it from there. We're just going to copy the link. So we're going to download it from the terminal. So let's go into a terminal here. And you want to put it into the correct folder. So we're going to go cd dot wechat here. And this is a Python script. So we go to our Python folder. And we want to auto load whenever we start WeChat. So we go to auto load folder, right? Inside here, they have one already, but we're going to wget this here, All right? So we download it here. And now we have we get here in this auto load folder. And basically, what that does is whenever we start up we uh, chat dash curse here, make this bigger here. It's going to take a second to connect to free node. I'm not sure why, but it always takes a, a while. So we'll wait for it to uh, connect and load and all that. All right, so there you go. It has it now. And what you want to do is go to your um, your console. I, I think that was what they call it, the console buffer. So you hit Alt and 1, right? And in here, you just, all you do is type in slash we get. And it basically, this is like a man page for this script. It tells you what it does here. So we get, and it gives some options you can do. And it gives you uh, the description here. So WeChat script manager is the description. And the options you can do is list, list install, show, uh, installed, uh, check, and update, and upgrade, and remove, and all that. And these are some of the indicators that it has. Like it has an I next to it, then it's the script is installed. The R is like running and, and it's obsolete. So when you see an obsolete, you can always do uh, an upgrade to the script. But anyway, some of the examples they have at the bottom here is uh, we get the list. It shows all the scripts here and all that. So install, remove. So I'm going to give you some examples. Slash we get. And we list it here. This one's going to list out all uh, the scripts that you can install. All right. And this is only one page. So if you do, um, what's that? You hold Alt and then page up. You can see that it has more up top here, right? And they break into, uh, I guess, categories. So you can see that it has this, what's that? It says status away. And this one is the interface. And this one's for iPhone and Android or whatever. And some other ones they have down here. All right, like, like this one's for channels, memory, notification for all these other ones down here. So, like I said, they have a lot. And Alt was that page down to go all the way back here. So that's how you do that. But let's say you want to just search for, uh, you know, a certain word only or whatever, or a tag they call it. So you do uh, we get list, and then let's say you search for music. Right, it's just gonna filter out all those other ones, and it's just to show you, you know, the ones for um, music only. Same thing for, uh, let's say, for example, games. Right, it's just gonna show you the games only. Now, if we type in what's that list installed it, we only have two installed here right now. Right, just this notification and this we get uh, script manager. If we want to install, let's say, for example, snake game here. Uh, we type in we get install and you can actually auto complete it so you type in s and a whatever and push tab right auto completes it and then you hit enter to install it and now you have it installed so you can do um, this and it shows you that okay snake is installed it and to run snake you type in slash snake and now you're playing the snake game um, was that from the from this program here and I think you hit Q to close or you can type in slash close if you want so I hit Q here to get out and that's it for that um, let's say you want to remove it now so to do remove just type in slash we get 
remove and snake all right and that's it it's removed so if we type in um, installed it now see the snake thing is gone now right anyways that's all you gotta do for installing and and all that now me uh, what was that uh, slash we get here this so you can see that next to it they always has uh, like a little I guess uh, it tells you what languages it uses so let's say for example this one it says PY is for Python PL is for Perl and RB is for uh, Ruby or something like that you can always type in slash plugins if you need to know those things so these are actually languages I believe that you can that it, it works with that it supports I say so Perl you know Python and Ruby like I said before and that's how you would uh, I guess use their script manager AK package manager whatever you're gonna call it uh, from WeChat here anyways uh, I'll probably check out some of the plugins and some of the good ones I'll make a video for but you know that's how you would install scripts from here really easy that'll be it for this one